Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today we're doing a really exciting craft for the dolls. I'm gonna be making a mall background or like, or basically like a store inside of a mall, the outside of it with like the displays and mannequins and stuff. You'll see what I mean. Let's just get right on into it. So to start, I'm cutting pieces out of foam board. So I have a piece that measures two and a half by 14 inches in length and then two more smaller pieces that are 14 inches by a half an inch. And then I glue the skinnier pieces onto the thicker one. So we have a piece that looks like this. And I'm gonna repeat this process two more times. So now we have three of these pillars. And now we're gonna cover these in paper and I just printed out these two different designs. This is some black bricks and this is like a concrete looking thing. And so I'm gonna glue the black bricks to the top half of the pillars. And as for the bottom half, I cut out some pieces that will fit perfectly around the bottom and I'm gonna glue those together. So yeah, it'll go right over the bottom here perfectly. But before I glue it in place, I'm gonna cover it with the concrete paper. And then I glue that in place. And then I repeat that on the other two. So all three pillars are covered. And here they are standing up so you can kind of get a better idea of how this is gonna look. And now I cut two pieces from black foam board that measure three and a half by 14 inches. And I'm going to glue these on the end pillars. So one, I'm going to glue like this right inside. And then on this one, on this side. So that these two end pillars have like walls built onto them. And I have more black foam board. Yes, most of this craft is using foam board, like lots of my crafts, honestly. If you don't have foam board and you're making doll crafts, what are you doing? Get some foam board, it's so helpful. Anyways, I have three pieces of foam board here, two of which measure two and a half by 14 inches, and the other measures three and a quarter inch by 14 inches. The bigger one is going to go in the middle one here, and I'm basically gonna just glue this pillar right to the foam board. And then the smaller ones are gonna go on the side pieces and I'm just gonna glue them right in behind like that. And so now this is what we're dealing with. Surprise, surprise, I have more foam board strips. These two measure one inch by nine inches and I'm gonna glue them between the pillars at the top like this. But before I glue it to the other side, I glue the skinnier strip, which measures half an inch by nine inches to the bottom. And then I can attach them to the other side. And I did that on the other side as well. And um, if you guys can already tell, this thing's gonna be huge. <laughs> this might be one of my biggest builds, um, but it'll make a great background. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna store this. But let me measure how big this thing really is. I'm curious. Okay, I'm getting 27 and a half inches. Dang, that is huge okay 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 last foam board strips for a while here i promise okay <laughs> at least i think anyways i have these very skinny strips that are a quarter of an inch in width and fit perfectly between the windows here or what are going to be windows eventually so i'm going to glue them right in the middle on both sides let's flip this around and so I have some clear plastic from doll packaging that I'm just going to glue right behind in here to act as glass. And yeah, I have four of these, one for each of the windows. And now that those are glued in, I cut a very long piece that will fit perfectly in the bottom here for the floor. And I cut a huge piece of black foam board that I can put in behind. But I'm not gonna glue it in place because I wanna be able to put things inside of the display and it'd make it a lot easier if it wasn't glued in. So I'll just kind of have it as the back piece that kind of just leans up against it. And now as for mannequins in the display, 
I'm just gonna be using old Barbie doll bodies that I don't use anymore because they don't have fantastic articulation, but will work perfect for mannequins in the display. So I just have a doll I took off their head and I'm gonna cut off the neck peg, as sad as this might be, because it feels so wrong to cut off a neck peg, but it's necessary to make the mannequin. Okay, so I have the mannequins dressed up and I'll show you the other ones in a second here, but I'm gonna need a way for them to stand up in the display so they're not just falling over all the time. <laughs> that would be annoying. So I have a bunch of these doll stands. This one in particular is from the BMR 959 doll line, but I have a bunch of these and unfortunately this bottom part won't fit inside the display. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I cut two pieces of black foam board that measure three by two and three quarter inches. And then on one of them, I kind of make a mark in the center near the back. So around there. And then with my X-Acto knife, I cut out a rectangular shaped piece that the doll slant can poke into, just like that. And then I line up this one with the other piece we have and I mark out where I'm gonna cut on that one and then cut that out. And it really doesn't have to look too pretty because uh, mine definitely isn't looking very pretty, but you won't notice that later. Then I line them up again and poke the stand through both of them, just like that. And you could definitely glue these two pieces together to add extra support, but you also don't really have to. And so yeah, we've basically made our own doll stand. Well, somewhat. <laughs> that will hold our mannequins and fit inside the display. Like that. And I made two more of those stands for our two other mannequins, which I'm also gonna now place into the displays. I also wanna say for this mannequin, um, this awesome top is from The Doll Tailor, which if you don't already know, we've been working together for a while now. And if you click the link in the description box below, you can go to their website. And if you make an order of anything $40 or more, you'll get 25% off if you use code DELIGHT. And you also get a ton of extra surprises. So definitely check out their shop because they have some amazing stuff like this top. This is one of my personal favorites for sure. I mean, just look at it. It's literally like a holographic top and the detail is amazing. So it's definitely gonna have to be on display for this shop. And then I printed out some photos that I took a long time ago, but I thought would look kind of good in this display here. And I cut them out. I also did make this sale sign as well. It says sale up to 40% off, which I'll also put in there somewhere. And I'm basically just going to attach these to the back wall and try to make this look good. <laughs> I'm gonna do this off camera because I might need to fiddle around with how I'm gonna arrange things, but I thought this would just kind of be a fun little touch. And yeah, I also printed off this other bigger picture over here in black and white, which I think is just perfect. And I did also print off a different picture to put over here. Anyways, I'm really happy with how everything's looking, but for this empty space over here, I have a bunch of black foam board pieces that I'm going to glue together. And I put that inside the display. It's actually kind of hard to see on camera, but it is in there and it measures four by four and a half inches. And now I can put something on top to display. And so personally, I want to display some little shopping bags. So I made this shopping bag design following a printable from the Doll Art Boutique, which is an Etsy shop. And I just kind of used their printable as a template to make my own. I did check out their shop and unfortunately they don't have their designer bags as printables anymore, like the Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and other ones they had as printables for bags. But they do have other bags still, which if you did want to make a printable for yourself, you could download one of theirs and then make your own printable using that printable. But I'm not going to share mine just because I remember them asking to not share any of the printables with other people because that kind of defeats the purpose of their shop. So hopefully you guys understand. And if you do wanna make some of your own kind of printables for your own shop, then you could definitely check out their shop. I'll have it linked in the description box below. As you can tell, I'm gonna be naming the shop DD Designs, of course. DD stands for Delightful Dolls. And I thought it was just kind of a cute logo. And I also like flipped 1D around, with, which I thought was just kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make these and I'll be right back with some adorable shopping bags. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is how one of the bags looked and I did put a little bit of tissue paper inside and I did make a few in different sizes. 
and I'm just gonna place them on the display. And now I'm noticing that this area looks kind of like blank and boring now. So I'm going to put one of our photos on the box in the front there. And I did switch out this one and put a different one over there because I think this one will look better over here. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then with more foam art pieces, I'm going to glue together another stand for in this display over here. And I'm once again going to put a photo cutout onto the front. So I put in the little stand and I put some glasses and another shopping bag on top. Then I printed out this sign that says DD Designs, basically just a larger version of what's on the bags. And I cut out a foam board piece that fits perfectly behind it. And I'm gonna glue that together. And then I'm going to glue this sign over here. And now I wanna make a little bench area for the dolls to be able to sit in the mall. So of course I have more black foam board that I'm going to glue together. But before I glue on the top piece, I'm actually going to make it into a cushion. So I'm going to use my go-to cushion making method by putting some fiber fill and gently gluing it on top here using a very little amount of glue. And then I cut off the excess fiber batting. And then I have a piece of black fabric that I'm going to lay out and then lay this piece on face down. So that I can fold over and glue the edges of the fabric underneath. And now I'm going to glue it on top. So here is the store all completed. I don't really know if it's necessarily considered a store because there's not actually an inside to it. But the display portion of the store is all completed. And yeah, it's giving off exactly the kind of vibe that I wanted it to. It's kind of looking like an inside of a mall, which is perfect for what I need it for which you will see in the next Emily and Friends episode coming next week. Sorry for the long wait again, guys. And I think this bench is a fun little touch too. I put two more little bags here as well. But with that moved off to the side, you can really see how it all looks. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really love the whole color schemes going on, the pink, black, and white. Because if you know me, I love pink. And I think this just looks so awesome. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you guys think of this mall display or this store display, whatever you want to call it, and if you're going to try to make something similar. I'm also curious to know which of the three mannequins is your favorite. I actually don't know if I can choose. They're all so unique and I'm really happy with how I put them together. And don't forget that that haul graphic top is available at the doll tailor. And if you use code delight, you'll get 25% off orders over $40 and a bunch of surprises. I just really want you guys to take advantage of that. It's a great deal and it helps me and the doll tailor out as well. So I just see it as a win, win, win for everybody. <laughs> Again, that'll be linked in the description box below. Now, before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Annika Henry, Rosanna K110, and Barbie9002. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you need a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help with my channel and I appreciate it so, so much. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye.